three of the Saratoga 2022 meeting is upon us. Ten race card on tap to start the racing week. Headlined by the grade two Honorable Miss, which is one of a few races that contains intriguing runners that made their last start at Churchill Downs. And that's number four, Kamari. Four to one on the line in this compact group of four. I was underwhelmed when we last saw her in the Derby City Distaff on the Kentucky Derby undercard when she finished fifth. Wasn't a perfect trip that day, but did get a very favorable race shape. They went at it on the front end, 22-1, and 44-1, and and she really lacked punch that day. The winner obligatory came from well off the pace. Four graces did as well. I thought Kamari was going to have much more run in the lane, but she did not. Now, if you go back to her effort at Keeneland, two back in the grade one Madison, that race, I thought she ran well, where she was up close to a hot pace and hung around for third. Now freshened up by trainer Wesley Ward, has to deal with Bella Sophia, who's going to be a tough customer. But if somehow she takes early pressure, I think Kamari the most likely to run him down under Joel Rosario. On to race seven, a $40,000 claimer for three-year-old Phillies traveling a mile and a 16th over the sod. And number one, Hatari makes her third start for trainer Mike Maker, not protected for the first time since being under the care of Maker. I can forgive her effort last time out on June 8th when she was against the flow that day. The winner, 261, walked on an uncontested lead over a racetrack where the rails were out. Really had no shot, but it's the effort two back that troubles me. On May 12th, first start under Maker took absolutely no money going off at 14-1. to Got a nice setup that day and was absolutely outkicked, being beaten more than four lengths when finishing fourth. I don't see a lot of speed in here. If there is an honest pace, Atari probably the likeliest to run them down in the lane, but at nine to five on the line, I prefer others that offer better value. And then it's on to race 10, a maiden special weight event for Phillies and Mares, three-year-olds and up at six furlongs. It concludes the card. And number 11, Akila Moon, is a bit of a tough read here for trainer Dallas Stewart. This daughter of Malibu Moon was only raced once thus far, and it came back on Halloween at Churchill Downs. That was the Stars of Tomorrow card, and she raced in a very live event. Marissa's Lady for Billy Mori did great things, and then Promises to Dance, who was gunned down by Marissa's Lady in the lane, came back to win very impressively for trainer Brad Cox. Akila Moon was involved early and tired late, but she took pretty live money in a very good group that day, going off at 7-1. to one. Now she's been freshened up. She gets blinkers. She gets Lasix. She's going to need to be fit to beat this bunch, but if she's at 5-1 to one or higher, I think she's an intriguing option to close the card. Remember about Twin Spires, Bed Back Promotion. It gets started on Thursday. Best of luck today at Saratoga.